Okay, I thought I'd do a little video on logs, logarithms. Um, if you don't want to say logarithm, you can say logs. I do. And quick translation of what log A, B means. That's how I say it. And that just means A to the what power equals B. Okay? So if, if I... You, you probably already know this. 2 squared equals 4. Okay, so I could say log 2 of 4. That means 2 to the what power equals 4? Well, 2 to the second power equals 4. So, bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Okay, um, and that part is pretty easy. You're probably going to get an assignment here pretty quick where you, you, you just go around guessing logarithms, you know, and checking them with your calculator or with, with uh, multiplication or whatever. But what usually hangs people up is logarithmic equations, um, solving for variables, and stuff like that. So... Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to, uh, we, we've got some rules about logarithms and they're, 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 they're good, they're good to know. Um, first of all, it's nothing that, it's nothing that I wouldn't get crazy about memorizing them, but, um, it, it's because practice is actually going to get you there. Uh, if you, you'll accidentally practice everything. Um, you'll accidentally memorize them if you just practice them. So let's uh, dive into some rules of logs. Rules of logs. Okay, the first rule, one of the first things about logs is log if there's nothing written down here, it's implied that the that there's a 10 down there. Um, the natural log of something. That mean that that basically means e to the what equals b. Okay? That just basically means it basically means log e to the B. And oh, by the way, if you haven't seen E yet, E is just, E is this. Just, it, it's it's an irrational number that you'll see all the time. It's it's kind of, it's pretty interesting. It, it's everywhere, but um, that's all that means. And since it's everywhere, we have a special, we have a special uh, logarithm for it. And that's just, we call it the natural log. So, um, very important number, and it's got its its own logarithm notation. So that's just a little bit of notation. Okay. Now I want to go to a product right here. Okay, a product is you know a times b. Um, so let's say you had the natural log of base c of a times b. Well, you can do a, a little bit of rewriting. And you can rewrite this as log C of B. Um, so you can do that. Um, that's that's handy because sometimes it's uh, you might need to use it to solve an equation. This and the same thing is kind of true for division. If you get the natural log of a fraction, well, you can rewrite it as uh, log of base C minus log base C. So you can do the same thing, okay? Um, what's another one? Oh, this is a good one. Here's a good one. Log of C to the... Oh, let me make up a... Uh, That's a T. 
you, we've got this little this this little neat little rule called the power rule. Which just says you can take your exponent and stick it in front. Now don't confuse the, the power rule right here, don't confuse it for this. Don't get confused. If you run into this, this is not equal to Okay. See basically this is the um, log of m raised to the t. Okay. This over here is something different, completely different. This is c to the what power equals m raised to the t. This is c to the what power equals m to the t. So that, that's a, that's a totally different thing right there. And this power rule is actually uh, one of the first things I kind of want to work with. Um, I'm going I'm to show you uh, a, little, a couple examples in the next video um, because I think that one can kind of be a little bit confusing sometimes. But And at the same time, there's also a little bit of tricks um, that can make your life a lot easier. So for right now, let's just stick to our, th our basic rules. That's uh, that's, that's just the uh, first, the first dude. Okay, so um, copy those down real quick. Uh, if they're not in your book, um, maybe maybe I'll start writing a lot more of this stuff down, and maybe you might not. Maybe maybe you decided not to buy a book. Um, I'm not. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna comment on that. Um, but if you don't think you need a book, that's fine. You know, because they're really expensive. Um, but write these down, and next video I'll see you. We'll do some more logarithms.